everyone greetings to you all Ella Obans here welcome back to my channel if you're a new subscriber you are welcome to this platform this is where we talk about purposeful living productivity personal development and lifestyle and sound mind so today I will be talking about on the things you need to do the, the, the very key things that could accelerate you to achieve the purpose you have discovered maybe you'll be wondering why didn't I even discuss purpose discovery before going into the achieving of purpose aspect well I trained up to close to 500 people on whatsapp for free or and how to discover themselves and there is a book I'm going to put it up here um, purpose discovery slash self-discovery workbook that is going to aid anyone who cares to join on how to discover themselves and as well the things they need to do part-time it's just a, a workbook of question and answers but that's not what the reason why we are here right we are here today to talk about the things you need to do when you have discovered your purpose you know it's one thing to discover your purpose is actually another thing to achieve it and in order to achieve your purpose there are things there are specific things there are key things that you have to do just like a farmer before we are going to a farm there are key tools you must carry if you want to have a successful farming for that day and when it also comes to purpose there are things there are key things you also need to do in order to achieve your purpose so without wasting much of a time i need to let you know that there is more to what i'm about to share but the ones i'm sharing with you are the key ones the, the, the key word here is key right <laughs> at no point intended the key word there is the key is the core one the tools you need in order to achieve that discovered purpose so if you have discovered your purpose you've understood your purpose and you, you're not sure how to go about it you're not sure how to achieve those purpose for real the first thing you need to do when you have discovered your purpose and the first thing you need to do in order to achieve that purpose is you need to look into yourself and ask yourself this purpose i have discovered what skill would easily match my purpose now this is not some um emotional it's not some emotional decision you should make because maybe your childhood friend is learning how to he's learning about database your friend is learning data analysis the other one is learning um web development so you felt like okay you can't be left out you felt like okay i need to be among i need to do this also just like these people it's not right thing to do i believe if you truly follow through the seminar or probably you've read my book purpose discovery or maybe you've gotten the workbook you should know that you are different you are unique you are the light of the world and you don't need to take anyone's permission to shine you don't need to look like any other person to shine you know candles shine in their capacity and both light shine in their capacity any for a matches a matches light shine in its capacity a, a light from a lighter also shine in its capacity so to tell you that every light has its own capacity it has its own relevance and it's not about the size it's about the illumination it gives to its environment and for you you are the light your environment is the world whatever you are there to give to the world whatever impacts whatever value you are there to give to the world is your own purpose like i said there could be things you want to do but you don't know how to do then you need to go and learn how to do it because it's a passion inside of you then there are things you you have always longed to do and you don't know how to start you also need to go and learn there are things you love to do it could be things you do for people you don't even feel like being paid you are just excited and happy that at least you are rendering the service right so when you have discovered your purpose you've undergone all of this process you've gone through this process the next thing you need to do is to ask yourself what skill will be more suitable what skill will be more suitable for this purpose what skill will help me thrive in this part of purpose i told us and even when you read my book you are going to realize that i've been writing as far as as long as far back as when i knew how to write and read english language and this was not something someone made me to do it was just something that came to me just that way 
writing came to me naturally it's a gift for me writing is a gift for me and also my passion and eventually became my talent and a means at which i am fulfilling my purpose but the first thing i did when i realized that this is part of me and i can't run away from it i went ahead to get a skill and guess what i didn't go to get a skill on how to be a world-class writer even though that's a part of the deal i didn't go out there to learn a skill on how to write like chimamanda adichie i didn't go out there to go and learn a skill on how to sew clothes even though those things are not bad necessarily but i went out there to learn a skill on how to write professionally now even though that when the classes i went to there were not so much things i learned right compared to what i already know but there is a little gap from what i used to be as a raw file as a as someone that just does something for her pleasure with someone that does something as a pro someone that has been trained to do such thing so you have to intentionally go get skill in that field whatever be your interest is it the website internet is it sewing is it um medicine whatever field you feel like this is place god is compelling you to go and serve the easiest way to thrive in that part of purpose is to go and get a skill that will help you that will help to accelerate you and skills are not hard to get the most the easiest way to get the skill is to actually know the skill you need part time once you know that skill and you know who does it better or who does it very well enough to teach you what you need to know then you are good to go because one thing about the mind is that whatever you are thinking the mind compels it to you it brings have you ever wondered when you are hungry you begin to see people eating food you begin to see where they are selling food when you when you are looking for a car that is white suddenly every car that is coming your way is white that is what your mind does it brings everything you are thinking towards you that's why the bible said um guard your mind with all diligence for for it's out of it um emerges the issues of life i i didn't get the um quotation but this is the summary of what it means and he said whatever that is good whatever that is lovely of good virtue and noble and all that that you should think on them it's not god trying to be some astronomer he's trying to let you know that your mind is a citadel of of a place where every other thing is built so if you want to learn a skill don't talk, don't think about the money aspect yet who does the skill one thing about knowing who does the skill and internet have made it more easier for us to easily assess people is that you could possibly just follow that person without even signing up there for their class and you can learn as much as you need to start and you you can even get a favor from them some people at a point they give discount they give people out their courses for free which is what we did for the, this set of people almost 500 of them are before 50 of them in the platform on whatsapp so you need to get a skill the next one is mentorship now in mentorship there are people that could coach you for a, a certain while there are people that could be your model for a certain while and there are people that will mentor you for a, a lifetime don't make that mistake to feel like you know it all i'm telling you you can never know it all if you have known it all you wouldn't have been you wouldn't have still been breathing right and it doesn't matter the age of this person if you see that this person has the capacity to mentor you by all means submit to them and allow yourself to be mentored one thing about mentorship is just like someone is carrying you on their shoulder have you ever when you are younger your parents carry you to cross a road to cross water um to run when dangers are are, are, are coming towards you that is what mentors the real mentors does for you when things seem to overwhelm you they jack you up from that beat they raise you up they help you cross borders that that could take you years that's why it seems like people that are mentoring us we tend to seem to thrive more than them they are now training us they are educating us based on their most of their experiences their mistakes they are trying to let us not to repeat the mistakes they've made or maybe their experiences they are sharing it with us so that we don't go and make blind decisions right so please get yourself a mentor and please don't come to me to mentor you please you have to pray about it you have to have a there is a sequence to everything okay I mentor people but really there there are so many process to that and i'm not sure you could you would even have that patience to do that because you've not known me for a while you probably would mistake it 
for the fact that I'm proud and really I really want to stay connected to you I wouldn't want anything to come between you and I so please stay in that boundary except you are willing though we can sort it out so the next thing is right association i'm telling you the truth if you are not conscious of people you associate with your life will be made short not just that your life will be made short you will struggle because if you go and get yourself in a circle of people who do not understand your mission they don't get what you are doing they don't even understand what you are called to do you are going to struggle you are going to suffer you will be you'll be switching in and off of your emotions you'll be struggling it, life will seem harder for you when it is not meant to be so david knew what god david or his subconscious mind understood his assignments hence he was able to connect with the prince of the land right that's jonathan and you could see that even there, there were times david's life could be cut short if it weren't to be that jonathan gave him information beforehand and they had a way of decoding their um their information in order to keep david safe and guess what jonathan at a point died because he couldn't he couldn't save himself or his dad and that could be david but jonathan and his dad died it's not like your friends must kill themselves for you before you can discern if they are truly the right ones but there could there should be a place for sacrifice a place they can easily forgo some certain things without feeling entitled to it without feeling they are doing you so much favor because friends they don't they don't struggle to help each other friends don't struggle to help each other they are always there for themselves they know what is right they know the right words to speak because if you are not with the right people you you are going to always struggle you're going to always face challenges you're going to always face this setback if you are doing something you should be in the in the second phase because you have people that do not understand the assignment they will always draw you back either by talking you down either by stopping you either by making you feel less of yourself all of these things has a way of stopping you from fulfilling your purpose that's why you have some friends that when you are doing something they will tell you ah you are start again you again this you are doing i'm going to tell you the truth i those people were not my friends in my secondary school but when i started writing in secondary school whenever i come to the class i have people that are telling me and hey, we have seen your content you don't even sleep every time you're writing on life time you're writing online you don't even rest better go and read and well i'm one of the champions the genius my school had in that time so it wasn't like i wasn't giving attention to my studies i was and a part of me still want to impart the world. A part of me want to share my idea with the world. And the first place I started at was on Facebook before I came here on YouTube. So you don't even know. You don't know where. You don't, you have to understand. Your friends will help you try. They might not help you in all of the aspects. But let, the 70% of the times you needed them. They should, they should be there for you. Because they are human too. They have their own personal life too. So you don't expect them to give you the 100% support. Because even your parents don't give you that. Right? So the next thing you need to do when you discover your purpose is mastery please as you are getting a skill there is difference between getting a skill and getting mastery okay please intentionally gain mastery in that gift in that skill in that passion in that talent you have discovered that you have take for instance you sing very well you've learned you've gone to a vocalist to teach you how to sing the next thing you need to do is to master how to sing there's a difference between justin Barbie. Uh, so Justin Bieber and I don't I don't want to mention someone's name, but you know that you cannot compete with Justin Bieber. You cannot compete with Messi Chingo. You cannot compete with um. Just think of any or any professional singer. You know, I'm using song because maybe it is something that is easily relatable. But it doesn't mean that it is only singing that could be your talent. There are so many talent. Thinking is a talent. Knowledge is a talent. Ability to teach is a talent. Ability to understand is also a talent. The most important thing is that you understand that this is my own. This is my uniqueness. This is what I have, and this is where I can apply it on. And these are the people I can easily influence with this thing i have so please gain mastery mastery is what makes people value you mastery is what makes people respect you mastery is what attracts people to you and mastery is what makes you wealthy because when you master something you will have enough value to give people that you are not easily displaceable right like i've always told us in the seminar in the seminar ground on whatsapp that 
there's going things you do uh, um everybody some people will seek you there are things you will do only rich people will seek you there are things you will do only poor people will seek you and there are things you will do everyone will seek you and the difference is not because some people are meant to be popular some people are meant to be successful some people are meant to be blessed and all that it's just because that some people have gone extra mile to develop themselves to be more valuable that nobody can easily resist them nobody can say that there is nothing i can i can gain from this person everyone you encounter has something they are going to gain from you so please gain mastery and add to your value at intervals the next thing you need to do is product and be productive and sell your product now you need to understand that once you've discovered your purpose and you've gained mastery, you've gained the skill, you, whatever it is that is your purpose automatically becomes a product. Because a product is what you use to meet the need of um, a consumer, right? And you, a consumer can be someone that consumes content, that consumes um, a service, that consumes money, that, anything at all. So there's something you can exchange for money, that thing is product. Or something you can do and someone would pay you is a product. Now you need to be more productive. You need to be in that productive. That is where diligence comes in. That is where excellence comes in. That is where focus comes in. That is where hard working comes in. That is where humility and honor to people and everyone around you comes in. You have to intentionally put out your product. The way, the way, um, the way, I don't know what brand to use actually, but the way a certain brand, let's say for instance now, the way Chi Exotic uh, expose their brand out there is not the same way five alive expose their brand like advertise their brand out there and this does not mean that either of them are bad brand or they are not doing their due stuff very well the difference is just because that one of them is doing the advertisement very well and they are meeting the need of the audience they are packaging it the way they package it the way um they are, they are giving the expression of the advertisement that you always feel like if i don't drink this like my life is going to end now your life is not going to end but this is something they have pushed inside your mind it came with being productive when it comes to productivity this is where creativity comes in this is where being diligent at what you do comes in this is where excellence comes in because if you are truly excellent people will pay you any amount you mention for your service go and check there are speakers that are paid one million and it doesn't mean that these speakers are are more beautiful sometimes they're not even more beautiful than speakers that are underpaid the difference is how they project themselves how well they've they've built themselves so you have to be productive productivity it goes with a lot of things which i have said so be more intentional about being productive and selling your product because if you don't package your product well if you don't package your value very well you are most likely going to be ignored and that's where frustration sets in you begin to feel like purpose is scam but it isn't the only problem is that you did not sell your product well when it comes to selling you have to package it to look so appealing that someone can not easily resist what you have presented to them especially if they need it so the next thing is your environment please even in the bible there they, they came a point where god had to tell abraham to leave his father's land to the land he will show him so if you truly want to do exploit in your place of purpose the easiest thing to do is to intentionally know the environment more suitable for you i am a nigerian and i live in nigeria for now there there are fruits that don't grow in nigeria one of it is apple and it's not because we don't have a fertile land it just means that the environment is not more suitable for apple and it's normal god intentionally created it that way so you have to understand that some people will thrive in nigeria some people will thrive better in the foreign land understand where your place is don't do it emotionally because everybody's japari <laughs> everybody's leaving the country and suddenly you want to leave the country understand what your purpose is all about and understand what you are going to do and where you are going to do it in order to be recognized in order to serve the purpose of what you have discovered the last point on the things you need to do in order to achieve your purpose is to document your process life is in phases and purpose are fulfilled in phases if you ignore your purpose if you ignore the uh, the part of um recording and documenting your process you will easily be swayed because 
in the course of um, fulfilling purpose, there is going to come a time when you will not feel like it. There's going to come a time when it seems like life is like God has forgotten you. And this is where you go through the things you've journaled, you've go through the things, the phases you've passed. You're going to see the ones that are even worse than the present one. You'll be encouraged to go ahead. You're going to also see the ones that are that are better. That where you did better is going to also encourage you. All of these things and lots more would help you achieve your purpose. I just rushed this because this is a recorded video. I would want it to be so long that it will be hard for you to download and watch. So if you want to know further about purpose, you want to know further about how to achieve purpose, how to work in your purpose, then you need this book. Please do well to get it whenever you can. It's not a must do, but it's necessary, okay? This book is really going to go a long way for you. Purpose discovery, the roadmap to understand, work in and, uh, and achieve your purpose. It's actually, I call this book a manual. This book is for you. This book is for you if you have learned to fulfill your purpose in life. So please, if you have the money, plan to get this book, okay? You are not going to regret it for once. At this junction, I believe that you have a glimpse of what you need to do the moment you discover that this is your purpose. You know that you need a skill, you need, a, you need the right association, you need the right coach, you need the right mentors, you need how to be productive and sell your product, you need to be excellent, you need to be consistent. Because when you're not consistent with something, people will not take you seriously. It's in that consistency you tend to build yourself, you build your career, you build what you want to stand for. And people begin to see you as a an authority in that field i hope you got value and i'm going to see you on the next video thank you so much for staying through i believe i fulfilled my promise to make this video